this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 14 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. Um, so we were working on this, and I think we should add a little bit of detail over here. So, use it, create a cylinder using auto grid, and make sure you do it on a flat part, and just do that. Okay, I'll um, bring the sides back down to 20. Okay, and convert it to an editable poly. Polygon insert. Oops. Insert and extrude out about 0.1. Okay, you don't even need any uh, chamfers here. It's a little bit too small for that. Okay, mirror it on the Y axis and just bring it back in okay and I think now we should be able to copy it but actually one last thing here copy these up okay and just scoot them in a little added detail can never hurt alright I'm still debating if I'm going to do a texturing tutorial for this, as I really am not good at it, but I don't know, we'll see. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Select this edge here, loop, chamfer. Okay. There we go. Uh, next, let's. I think we can copy it. So go in the left viewport, select that, perspective, make sure you have everything. Good, top viewport. I hope it doesn't do that. Um, top viewport, select copy, rotate 180 degrees, angle snap on. Alright. Position it. There we go. Now it's actually starting to look like something. So just press Control A and make sure that everything is black. All right. And then just give it a gray texture so you can see it. Let's just do a little render there. Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, select this, and, um, then we're going to use the smooth modifier. Okay, go to auto, smooth, let's we'll see what that does. Um, alright, never mind, don't do that. We'll fix that later, because it creates some artifacts over there. So, I think it's time to move on. Um, yeah, we're going to build this engine thing. So, move that over. Let's start by building a box. Um, okay, make it gray. Go into the front viewport, and convert it to an editable poly. Alright, um, and just move the vertices so they are a little bit away from those gears. Okay, and they're going to be about. Mm, I'm going to say a little bit above, so right about there. And go back into perspective, and move this uh, inward, I think. Yeah, inward looks good. 
Uh, see, theirs is more square. Hmm. What to do? Um, this is what happens when some of your proportions are off, so we're just going to scale this in a bit. And we're going to cheat. So, select this edge here and extrude. Extrude it about point or 1.3. And select this edge and this edge. Go into the front view and extrude it right back to where we had them. Okay. Perspective, and there we go. Good as new. Um, let's create a cylinder using auto grid right here. And you're going to want the radius to be about 4 and the height to be about mm, 1.2. Align it. Um, okay, don't align it. Just go to the front view. I'll manually do it. Okay, actually go to the back view. Or back. And just align the move tool with that center icon. Alright, looks good. And bring it up just a bit. Perspective. I'll make it gray. Size looks good to convert to editable poly. Polygon, select that. Um, we want to inset it about 0.51 and inset it again about 0.18. Press grow, deselect the center polygon, and extrude uh, inward. Okay. Next, we're going to want to select these edges here and press loop, chamfer, and round it off a bit. Then, we're going to want to create a box, I believe. No, not yet. Uh, a polygon, inset. Okay, press grow, deselect that, and extrude outwards this time. Okay, select those two outer edges, press loop, give them a chamfer. Okay, and now we're getting somewhere. Um, create a box about that long, so go to the well, back viewport and line it up with the center there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but okay. Convert to editable poly. Select this edge. Connect. Oops. Connect twice. Okay, and do the same thing over here, select these vertices on both sides, and you're going to want to scale them out so it gives it a rounded look, and then yeah. just move them in a bit, and position it at the top. Okay, and that'll be it for part 14. I'll see you in part 15.